Hey everyone, uh, I thought I'd just come on here and make kind of a, uh, a part two to my is Sabretria worth it, but today we're going to be looking at Corbant instead of Sabretria. So, obviously the question I'm asking here, or I guess you're asking here, is, is Corbant worth it? Now, this is kind of similar to my Sabretria video because it kind of depends on what you want from Corbant. Now, when it comes to Corbant, if you're looking for a saber that you want to use a lot, um, I'm not going to say you'd be disappointed because you definitely won't, but if you, if you want a saber that you can use a lot, then there are definitely better options. And what I mean by that is Corbant, in my opinion, shines at its, like, hilt and its replicas. As you can see here, here is the Anakin skinny flex saber that they have it's my only core band saber and it is powered by one button and it's this one right here now if mine is very glitchy and i think that has to do with the one button system uh so if you want something that's you know not screaming voice lines in your face all the time then i would not go with core band. for some reason core band, um their skinny flex does that for some reason so here we go here it is now I will say when it's not glitching it is working very 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 well and it's very nice but when it is glitching it is not working very well now it is not glitching most of the time I would say that it glitches probably like 10% of the time which is still kind of high in my opinion so if you want to get a saber that you're going to be using 24 7 then I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go with Corbant but I'm not saying Corbant is bad because it is certainly not but you know as, as I said before it all depends on what you really want from Corbant when you order from them now I'm like 90% sure that they have two button sabers on their site but most of them don't most of them only have one button and the one button system is actually very difficult to use because it all has to do with timing and since there's a lot of functions to it you have to really get the timing perfect if you're trying to do a specific thing and that can be tough sometimes now the fonts that uh core sabers come with are very very good the smooth swing is top notch uh the craftsmanship of the hilt and the blade and just everything actually is great um, the only only downside to the saber is the one button um, you know it's still very very good I I don't want to I don't want to make it look like I'm saying Corbant is bad because it's definitely not um, I'm just I'm just criticizing it as much as I can you know just to tell you guys like what to expect really um, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything you know this saber does malfunction sometimes it malfunctions a lot more than Saber Trio, but that does not make it bad because well, Saber Trio never really malfunctions like ever. So, you know, it's like if this thing malfunctions once, then it would still top Saber Trio. I mean, it would still be below Saber Trio when it comes to malfunctioning. But um, the one downside, or one of the downsides to the Skinny Flex specifically, the one you're looking at right now is the uh the grips don't come attached so you have to put them on yourself and they stick they it's not like you like screw them in or anything so my issue with that is it's very very hard aligning the grips like to make it perfect i actually had to use five instead of six which uh six is the canon accurate i believe they, that they give you seven grips in case you mess one up i messed two up so i had to go with five um but you know that's uh I really can't tell the difference between 5 and 6, you know, it's not like you're looking at the saber, the entire saber at once, you know, when we're looking at it like this, you're just looking at one side, you can't tell that it only has 5 grips on it. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to stretch this video out to 10 minutes, I think I said that in my Saber Trio one too, and it's because I just want to, you know, be honest with you guys, I'm not going to have you guys stay here for a long time, when you really only have to be here for like 5, 6 minutes maybe. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much to what to expect from Corbanth. Um, their shipping time was uh, pretty good, actually, for what you get. 
um, I think that I think that it is a little um, just a little overpriced a little bit I think this was 750 like seven hundred fifty dollars uh, if I were them I'd be selling it for maybe like 700 something like that you know it's just a little bit overpriced in my opinion but you know it's still very very good and the final verdict on is Corbant worth it I would say Corbant is worth it overall um, if I had to rate this Saber, I'd give it like a 9 out of 10. It's pretty good. Uh, if I had to, well, yeah, if I had to rate it, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. So, um, if you want to order from Corbin and you already know what you want, then go for it. But if you're not sure, then I would look more into Corbin as well as other companies before purchasing. But I would still keep Corbin like on your mind when deciding because Corbin is a great company and they make great stuff. So anyways, that's going to be it for the video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.